OK. So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we're simply going to do is, ooh, my tea. Um, yeah, it's a slight simmer, so you're straight. That's good. So what we're going to do in this case is, um, again, ladies and gentlemen, when solving something like this, I'll give you guys some aromatics. Um, again, we want to eliminate the, again, we want to eliminate the denominators. Okay, so. <laughs> so basically, what we're simply going to do is we need to um, get rid of this denominator. And what I mentioned is identifying the LCD. So when you guys are looking at the LCD, again, what we need to do is identify what is your common denominator between x minus 3 and x plus 1, um, and then over here. Now, what we could do is you guys could add these together, like we did over there, right? You, can, you guys learn, know how to add and, or subtract these, right? You guys know how to do that. However, when we're solving, I don't really want to be dealing with fractions. Put that down. Because if you're subtracting these, you're still going to have a rational expression. When I'm solving, I want to get rid of all of my fractions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to determine the LCD first. So again, the LCD is going to be the common denominator of x minus 3 and x plus 1. Now, do I, does x minus 3 and x plus 1 have anything in common that you guys are aware of? Yeah. X. Well, they both have an x, but they don't both divide into x, though. Is there anything that they, they don't share a common expression? So therefore, their LCD is just going to be the product of both of them. For instance, if I said, what is the, L, what is the common um, multiple of, or what's the least common denominator of, you know, or common multiple of 3 and 4? You guys would say, well, that's 12, right? You just multiply them. However, um, so this is basically going to be the exact same case. So now, just like I did last example, we're going to multiply everything by. And let, let me go through the case again. Does, so let's multiply everything by the um, common multiple. So I have x minus 3 times x plus 1. x minus 3 times x plus 1. x minus 3 times x plus 1. So now I multiply every single term by my LCD. Does everybody see that? Does everybody see how I multiplied everything by the LCD? Let me see. You have to multiply, you are multiplying everything by the numerator. This is really can be rewritten as 0 over 1. So you're multiplying that really over 1. right? And these are all in the numerators. right? Yes, you're all multiplying the numerators. Now, what's important about this, Chris? Why did we multiply by the LCD? What does this allow us to do? Well, does, if it's the common denominator, that means our denominator divides into it. Like the last thing, right? Everything divided into 12 on that last problem. Does x minus 3 divide into x minus 3 times x plus 1? Yes. How many times? x plus 1. x plus 1. Does x plus 1 divide into x minus 3 times x plus 1? Yes. Yeah. How many times? x minus 3 times. And then 0 times x minus 3 times x plus 1 is just going to be 0. So therefore, now I have 5 times x plus 1 minus 4 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Well, I mean, you are times it, but it's just going to be 0. Yes. OK? So now, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can see, do I now have an equation that doesn't have any fra uh, fractions? Sure. Well, do you guys see? Is there any fractions here? No. So therefore, this is much easier now to solve, right? I can apply distributive property. So I have 5x plus 5 equals neg oops, minus 4x plus 12 equals 0. Now I combine my terms. So I have x plus 17 equals 0. And then I just subtract 17. x equals negative.